I'm Michael Koenigs, the host of More in Common, and we're so excited to be back with a whole new season, meeting extraordinary people across America who are making a difference in their communities. First up, an old friend of mine who I met on this show in season one, and we're going to feast at the Upper West Side Diner right here. Come along. Josh, I haven't seen you. Come on, we, uh, he's such a politician now. He's ready for the f official handshake. But I've missed you mightily, my friend. Yeah, and, always a uh, pleasure to see you. I'm not surprised at all that you beat me here. You uh, show up for work about half hour, hour before uh, yeah, the start time sometimes. Depending on the day, yeah. But yeah, I like to get there early. I have autism and stuff. I obviously I didn't have lots of friends. I have hard time with eye contact, so that's why I'm not looking exactly at you. Only um, because it's like. It's extremely uncomfortable. I met Josh for the first time back in 2019. Josh was working at Spectrum Designs, an apparel company that employs and trains people with autism. It was here at the printing press that Josh came up with the idea of a flag to represent his community. In 2022, he won a state contest to design the first neurodiversity flag for New York. This is called the neurodiversity strength flag. I wanted to like say, hey, look, we hear you, we see you. I mean, we go back four years when I first met wow. you. Oh my God, yeah, it's been four. Back then, obviously you work printing shirts. Yep. Now you're wearing a suit. You've got uh, some beautiful, uh, I see the flag pin right there. I have a two-year-old son and anytime we come across a flag, he points up because uh, he knows I'll do a little salute for him. And I can't wait when we're going to be looking up seeing this neurodiversity strength bag that you designed, that you crafted, flying high above this city soon. I can't wait for that too, trust me. Some people like get emotional because we're fighting back against stigmas, for example, and um, stigmas are unjustly hold people down. You've been just a passionate advocate for neurodiversity in this state and beyond. For those who don't know, what is neurodiversity? Neurodiversity is a spectrum um, of just different um, Neurological um, conditions, epilepsy, for example, is a form of neurodiversity. Autism is neurodiversity. And when you look at the flag, what does it symbolize to you? The gold represents first place because we've always seen our needs be like put like secondary and third. You know, we're done with that. Our, our needs are first, they're just as important. The diamond is value because we want to be valued. We know our worth and now like we want the world to treat us as our worth. The red is a power color because we always know our strength. Like, we're able to survive and thrive even if there are no friends around, we're still pushing going. With the infinity symbol, I've seen so many, so many times, people say, use this symbol instead of the puzzle piece. So, it's on the flag. I took what I saw online from the comment section and I put it on there because it's about time that people have a flag which they can identify with and feel that they had input in. You feel uncomfortable making direct eye contact. Yes, I'm always going to be like that. That's part of like the Josh experience. It's the eye contact. I usually don't come in the city that often because lots of stuff always going around. Um, I usually come in for meeting with you. Because <laughs> this city's overstimulating. For someone like myself on the spectrum, it is overstimulating like crazy. We met outside your workplace, Spectrum Designs. Yes where you'd show up oftentimes very early for work because you were such a devoted employee. Kind of going back, you know, seeing a place where you'd print off a lot of t-shirts, now you're dressed in this fine suit. I mean, it's a big a big movement over these last few years for you. Talk about that journey. Well, I'm always, I'm always gonna be um, a Spectrum because I love that place. Because the people that I work with, there's all different levels of abilities and stuff, but like, it's so diverse, they should have a flag. And that's, it just came to be, so one time I was printing and I just thought there should be a flag. So there's uh, the closest person. So you were printing shirts and you thought we should be printing flags for this community. Yeah, pretty much. This is real. We gotta, I gotta eat some food here. This isn't just a prop, you know? I love pickles. Uh, I might even let the, one of my producers take a bite if they're lucky. Flags really unify people and unify this country in a way and so as a symbol some people might think ah, this is just uh, you know an act but you think it's no. more meaningful uh, than that well yeah if all you need to do is look at the pride flag in that community wherever you see that flag people are under tolerant because it's a symbolism of welcoming acceptance that's what this is gonna be when I finish this big bite I just want to say you pop up in my DMs all the time. You're letting me know how you're doing, how your family's doing, and most importantly, your passion for this community. 
yeah. and trying to help. You know, from the first handshake we had, seeing how hard you work, you raised everyone's understanding that people who have autism, that people who have other neurological conditions can make just as big of an impact, if not more. And so I hope you continue this journey, this incredible fight just to raise started. awareness. And you Thank are. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thank man. you. I genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. There's nothing quite like checking in with an old friend, catching up over a meal, and discovering just how much people change and are changing this great country. And we're going to continue to see that as we explore America on More in Common. I'm Michael Koenigs. See you next time.